I'm JD the Media Jack, and this is another episode of the Flipside Podcast, episode 452. It's myself and Alicia Simpson talking about waterfalls around British Columbia, not just talking about them, visiting them. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome and thank you. You're going to see some incredible footage and some pictures that her and myself have taken as we adventured through seven different waterfalls around Prince George, British Columbia. If you're listening to the podcast, thank you so much for doing so, but really you won't get the full effect unless you watch the video or you follow Alicia Simpson 13 on Instagram as a lot of the photos that we refer to are on her Instagram. So have a look, have a listen, have a watch. Please enjoy this episode. And if you're listening to this again on either Spotify or Anchor or Google or Apple. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for giving me a shot. Now, without further ado, it's myself and Alicia Simpson as we talk about waterfalls around BC for this 452nd episode of the Flipside Podcast. It started with Teapot Mountain and then we were just like, oh, let's, let's do it an adventure every month. Well, as soon as possible, honestly, it was more than just every month. But yeah, we started. Well, that off. was my thinking at first. Is like we'll do a new adventure every month, and then we just couldn't wait a month. <laughs> so Teapot Mountain actually was, um, it was what? The beginning. Yes, it was a a couple of firsts because it was uh, the first outdoor exploration hike that you and I did together. Wait, does Jasper count? Around area, around Prince George. Okay. Right summer <laughs> yeah exactly summer hikes yeah. so it was the first time we did all that mm -hmm. and it was also the first time where um you started to really push your own personal boundaries mm. because um it was a great view uh, on top of teapot mountain and you wanted to make the most of it mm -hmm. and so was it you who came up with the idea or did I come up with the idea of, well, I mean, go out there, uh, you know, go sans top for whatever reason or however you want to call it and just express yourself and feel free and also show off some muscle tone. Mm -hmm. I can't remember whose idea that was. Um, I think it started with Allison. Mm. I wanted to do what she was doing. It just, it looked liberating. And was it? Yeah. You know, with no competitions this year, I just needed that adrenaline rush, I guess. That's appropriate. Yeah, it was It was a challenge. Yeah. Which is, you know, adren adrenaline rushes come from such challenges. Mm -hmm. We tried one angle of Teapot Mountain, and that was because someone was in the area where you wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. And then they moved, and we politely said, like, you know, just avert your eyes, Don't please. Mind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a couple of shots, and um, I was lucky enough that you trust me with your camera, but also have instructed me on how to use your camera properly. Yeah. I think, Teapot, we used your phone. We used both. Okay. Didn't we? No, that's right. We did not have your no, camera. No, I didn't bring my camera. Up that's there. right. Yeah. It was just yeah. my phone. Yeah. That's After right. After that, though, it was like... Bringing the equipment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so ancient forest. Upgrading, yeah. Yeah. Now, we hiked all through ancient forest, which is there's a loop first, and then there's a part of ancient forest, which is all boardwalked, mm -hmm. where we have to... You have to walk up and go up this boardwalk to as far as it can take you up the falls. Yeah. And... Beautiful out there. Lots of bugs. But oh, yeah. That was like the height of <laughs> yeah. mosquito season. And we get up there, and there was a, a small area where it was kind of clear, but it was just beyond the boardwalks. Yeah. And I'm, I swear you're the one who were like, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I want my picture. <laughs> exactly. And so you took it upon yourself to quickly get undressed and then pose and I tried my best, and I think like the first set of photos was just not quite up to par. But then you showed me how to do it, and the funny story with that was that um, I was taking photos, uh, swatting away mosquitoes, and also on lookout, because at one point in time, there was an entire family coming up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wasn't like a closed set. No. But regardless, I mean, Ancient Forest, still beautiful. Mm-hmm. And an incredible hike. And also it's it's beautiful to walk through and see people, see the um, people who take care of it take such care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. It's well looked after. Yeah. Therefore, it's very touristy. It is. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. But what else did you think about Ancient Forest? It was a good hike. It's like mostly uphill. So you're breathing by the time you get up there. Even with the boardwalks. Yeah. So yeah. it was a good hike. So why is it on the bottom? Like, not saying that it's the worst, but it's just yeah. there had to be a yeah. last one. Yeah. Uh, just because it's it was so touristy and... It's like a good, if you're going to start out doing adventures like this, it's a good beginner's one. Yeah. And it was probably, I think, the smallest waterfall we saw. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it was hard to photograph, too. Like, I got a good angle there, but it was hard to get it, like, all in one shot just because it kind of, like, comes down, turns, turns. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's why I would rank it number seven. Gotcha. Number six. This is Hickson Falls. Hickson. Yeah. Interesting story. We got lost. <laughs> we <were> so lost. <laughs> so uh, another story of don't let GPS direct you all the time and yeah. don't trust GPS wholeheartedly. Yeah. Uh, we typed into the phone. Not lost. Just r- harshly redirected yeah exactly <laughs> we typed into the phone hickson falls road or something like that yeah yeah hickson creek road i think something or no we just i think we just typed in hickson falls yeah and it was going to take us down lake creek road something like that yeah that's mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so we go all the way up a half an hour drive and this forest service road turns into a backcountry road and there's only one lane and at one point in time like you're leaning over to one side on the vehicle <laughs> To make sure that no one's coming the other way because there's just nowhere to go. and The bushes are just closing in on us. Yeah. <laughs> we drive for like a oh, half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. In, a, in my That's little a Kia time. Soul. <laughs> Poor thing. And we get to this final spot and there's just nowhere to go. There was no, there was yeah. barely a trail. Just this tiny little clearing yeah where we could even barely turn around <laughs> so we drive all the way back we go to the other side of hickson which is not even a five minute drive mm-hmm. Hickson is a small community mm-hmm. and like oh hey look it's hickson falls road hickson creek hickson road or creek road yeah. or something yeah and so we drive 10 minutes and <laughs> And boom, we're there. Like we're 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 in the area where we should be. Mm-hmm. It is definitely a back road, a dirt road. My Kia was not going to make it all no, the way no, down. No, that was really bad. Yeah. Um, but we got out. We had a nice hike, and then we went and we found these incredible falls. What are your thoughts on actually the falls themselves? Very beautiful. Big. Quite a, yeah, like quite a sight to see, especially yeah. with as you're coming through the trees and the the trail was really nice too um lots of nice trees on the trail but again it was hard to photograph like i know there was like one sort of rock mountain that i climbed up onto yeah and i could just barely get like a good angle yeah yeah like was that a- was the best photograph because i got the bit of the foreground there and then just the falls kind of peeking out up the back there yeah it was also very touristy as well yeah like yeah that was another one we we were passing people on the way to the falls there were people that got there when we got there um pretty i'm I'm almost confident that i if not we interrupted a marriage proposal something (laughs) something (laughs) (laughs) because they were doing something and then they got real awkward (laughs) and then we left very touristy yeah and the water was very dirty looking it was yeah yeah but still it was amazing yeah like any waterfall we're gonna see is freaking amazing because there are these phenomenons of nature Mm -hmm. it's really cool but yeah touristy dirty water it was a good hike though it was a good hike Mm -hmm. if if just just in case anyone tries to go to hickson falls just keep in mind that the road that you want to take is actually 
just inside the town of Hickson. Not on the outside. Yeah. Not before or after the railway bridge. (laughs) It Mm. is just inside Hickson. So don't get lost or don't get redirected like we did. Don't take Lake Creek Road. (laughs) Exactly. Apparently that maybe takes you to like the top of the falls, you said? And I, I, I did... I did hear some some waterfalls, yeah. but there was no trail. <laughs> and the only thing that was remotely close to a trail was completely flooded. Yeah. So. We'd need a machete and a little boat to get through that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Number five. Muskeg River Falls. Right. Beautiful. Um, how did you find these falls? You've done all these all the research. I've just been Googling waterfalls around prince george and i think this is like one of the the very last ones on the list Mm -hmm. remind me where muskeg is oh that's the one that was just outside of bear lake just outside of bear lake right yeah Yeah. you actually had to go down a forest service road to get there and a pretty decent hike the instructions that are online are pretty accurate yeah yeah actually except for the the big sign, Muskeg River Falls. There was, there was no, no big sign. sign. <laughs> there, there was a uh, provincial forest park sign. And it was yeah. very old. Yeah, but there was no like giant Muskeg River Falls yeah, exactly. sign. Yeah, that must have been from a few years ago or something. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Trying to video on a professional. Oh, okay. Shit. You betcha. Thank you. Probably also doesn't help that I walked through like three spider webs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to get there, it literally is just a just a hole in the forest wall because mm-hmm. it is it is in between Forest Service Road kilometers. Yeah, it was like like forty nine point five or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, don't quote me on that. Get the information right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But also, like, it's been well taken care of because you can see that whoever goes down there with a the chainsaw does their job to make sure that the path is always clear. Yeah. There's, like, trees that are, like, cut uh, right in place to get through. There was a lot of fresh stuff. Yeah. When we were there, yeah. Yeah. Because it was, like, a windstorm not even a week earlier. Right, yeah. We get there. We see... we. When when you come up to these falls, you see the stream that's coming to it. Yeah. And then you show up and you're actually at the top of the falls. We had to oh, yeah, trek yeah, our yeah. way down yeah. to the bottom where this is. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. This one, we started at the back of the falls at the stream and then followed along the top and then down. That was yeah. Cool. Not too touristy. We had about 45 minutes to ourselves to do yep. a photo shoot before... That was prime shooting time, yeah. Prime shooting time before a family of five showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't the one that was naked this time. No, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got a couple of shots. It was cold. Oh, so cold. Cold. And uh, my plan was actually just to get straight into the falls and get right up close to it. But as soon as I started to get closer, I took one step and noticed there was no bottom. So I couldn't get right up close to the, to the falls, which is unfortunate. But yeah, we did like a quick photo shoot. Well, we did a, a good photo shoot with you and then a quick photo shoot with me. You come to show me what's going on and then you turn around and you go, oh, people. Yeah, I heard someone was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's kids walking down the hill like, oh dear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ducked into the rocks there and quickly got... I just kind of stood there like, la da da Yeah, doo-doo, <laughs> run and block. <laughs> number five, though. Why did you pick that number? I think this is the one where it was like the next three were like tough choices. Okay. But this one was another one of the smaller ones. Which is saying a lot because like that's pretty wide. Yeah. Okay, so it was like the widest, but yeah. the smallest. Um, I don't know. It was a really, really tough decision. This one had really cool rocks in front of it. It was a lot of fun to photograph that one, actually. Mm-hmm. Given, given like another hour and maybe just a slightly warmer weather, we could have utilized so much more of the falls. Yeah, probably. 
and there's like plenty of things to explore definitely yeah like we could have walked further downstream yeah um taking more pictures of the top of the falls would have been cool too yep it was a good hike this one was wasn't it like a half hour hike it was it was about a half hour hike right on right on the nose yeah 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 and you're like going up and down hills and rocks and stuff and i always like it when it's a bit of a a challenging hike then you kind of earn the the beautiful scenery at the end Mm mm-hmm also, like you're you're right in the woods, you're right in the forest, and so it was kind of common and habit to just make lots of noise to make sure that yeah. none of the bears are coming by to yeah. check Whoa us bear. out. Whoa bear! Whoa bear! Yeah. Number four. Greer Creek Falls. That's Greer Creek. Yeah. Yes. So that was that was Vanderhoof. Vanderhoof, and it was uh, also. It was supposed to be the first of two for that day, but the mm-hmm. weather took a turn for the worse. Yeah, that was our worst weather day. Yeah. Um, pretty simple, straightforward trail. Uh, yeah. A bit of like, a bit of a a bit of a, a downhill to get to the falls, mm-hmm. and definitely like uh, you're heavy, you're breathing heavy on the way back up because you're yeah. going up back a up hill again, yeah. decent incline. But once you get down there, it just opens up to this pool. And a waterfall coming down into the pool. Yeah, you kind of turn a corner and then it's there and it's just like this magical little oasis, oasis with like a forest canopy over top. And yeah. That was so cool. There's um, uh, boardwalks and, and a little bridge so you can get on either side of the falls if you wanted to. You could actually get up pretty close. I was able to get moderately close to the actual falls themselves. Mm-hmm. And I, if... I don't know if I was wearing something other than sneakers at the time. I probably would have gotten closer. It's still cold, but it also didn't yeah. help that it was just it was cloudy and yeah. windy and rainy Raining. that day when we showed up. Yeah, that one though we had a we had a good decent amount of time before other people showed up. Yeah, we did. The, yeah, it, the, that was one of the times though where I was like people, and <laughs> I just kind of stood there yeah. while you got dressed. <laughs> but uh, you dipped your toes in and you got. It was definitely cold, but you got in there pretty deep. Yeah. yeah. Up to my butt, pretty much. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. The hike was definitely worth it. Oh, yeah. Good yeah, exercise. that was a great hike. Yep. Yeah. For sure. So this is, in the middle area, this is like the, the hardest to choose from. And yeah. Yeah. I, I literally have nothing negative to say. Just for picking placings for these, it was <clears> really <throat> tough decision. So I pretty much, at this point, I'm just going by the beauty of it, I think. Yeah. And this one was tall, and it was really cool how it was coming down through the rocks like that. And then you can see the rock faces on the other side, and just that forest canopy over top. And I wish we had gone there in in sunlight. That I'm sure would look even more stunning. A beautiful, hot, sunny day would have been awesome. Yeah. But also, it probably would have been pretty crowded. Probably. Yeah. We got lucky with the time that we had there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Number three. Oh, I recognize this. Mm-hmm. That's Wineglass Falls. Yeah. Yeah, and that is just outside of Quenelle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Again, another Forest Service road. There are two sets of directions to get to Wineglass Falls. One mm-hmm. of them warns you you potentially are going through someone's private property. Yeah. Uh, the other one, you're hitting a Forest Service road, which, like, again, like I. I dr- we we drive in my car, which is a Kia Soul. Nothing fancy about it. Mm-hmm. And there was a couple of times where the ruts were a bit much, but still, yeah. like we made it. We made it. But yeah, avoid that private property. Take the Forest Service Road. Yeah. Uh, there was people there when we showed up. Uh, this one was probably one of the busier ones. This one in Ancient Forest. Yeah. Keep in mind, like with Wine Glass Falls, like if you plan on going swimming, there's nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> there it's it's falls into a very rocky uh, uh tree laden stream. stream and that's it so it was kind of muggy but um there was a lot of people there but for whatever reason we had a good half an hour to ourselves it's like they knew i was coming <laughs> yeah exactly so <laughs> that worked out really well this time we were working with the light and using um, silhouette. Mm-hmm. 
And, um, and the darkness of the cave behind it, yeah. Yeah, because the whole thing just like cuts into itself, mm-hmm. and the waterfall is over top of it. So cool, yeah. yeah. Quite a sight when you walk up to it. Um, the drive wasn't too, too bad. Lots of cows. I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of cows. <laughs> but um, this was uh, another one of those times where it was just, I, we, we knew we were on borrowed time to do a photo shoot. But for whatever reason, we had like a good solid half an hour where we were able to take multiple uh, shots, multiple poses, and no one bothered us. Yeah. And it, I think it got to the point where like, okay, we're done. And as you were getting dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the first family showed up. (laughs) (laughs) So we got extremely lucky there. Yeah, very lucky. I mean, thinking about it, for all we know, they could have been like... Now we can come out, yeah. 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 <laughs> but really beautiful, and mm-hmm. like you can get right into uh, the split in the rock and the earth, and get behind the waterfall. Yeah, and it's stunning. And it's there's unique, a, so unique. There is there is another trail that leads up. We I just didn't know we didn't know where it went. Yeah, so we didn't go that route. Yeah, but um, really nice. And yeah, don't. Don't take the one route that takes you through someone's private property. Yeah. That's probably where the cows came from. Probably. <laughs> so uh, the hike for that one, that was one of the shorter hikes, wasn't it? It really was, yeah. Um, it kind of sort of felt like we were making our way to like a public provincial park. Because it, yeah. it, it was a dirt road mm-hmm. that led there and then a small walk trail and the, the actual small trail foot trail wasn't that long at all yeah and it was really muddy and it hadn't been looked after in a while i don't think no well maybe just hadn't been maintained properly yeah yeah so but yeah stunning stunning (laughs) number two this is hell roaring hell roaring falls yeah now you were actually rather shocked at what it looked like when we got there oh yeah I, I found this one online. I didn't even find it on Google Maps or anything. I just found someone's blog about it. Mm. And they did a good job of talking about it and gave some good instructions, too. It's on the uh, the outboundcollective.com or something like that. But the pictures just made it look so tiny. Like, without like a person in there right beside them, you just you cannot get that perspective on them. And... So when we got to them, they're just like ten times the size of mm-hmm. what I thought. There's a there's a photo you, that you'll see of me, like seating, yeah. seated, oh, yeah, as close put, as possible. Put that one in there, yeah. Like I'm five nine, five ten, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so I'm no small dude. And where you see a photo of me in it gives you a perspective of just how large these falls are. Yeah. But the hike to it was also something stunning as well. There is one small foot trail leading to where we were, and it was what was it? It was like it was a Lord of the Rings haven or something. <laughs> yeah, it was just this mossy, <clears throat> heavenly forest. Another like magical oasis, and you just you feel like a, a fairy. <laughs> you feel like you feel like like I, humans don't belong here. <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, that was amazing. That was a good hike. That was a good waterfall earning hike. <laughs> this was. Um, there was a small whirlpool in there. Um, oh, yeah. That I was tempted, but the rocks are so slippery. Oh yeah. I was tempted to like jump in, and it looked moderately safe, but the rocks in this one and the final one just so like almost slick. Dangerous. So dangerous. dangerous. We didn't get a photo shoot in this one because it was the end of an already long day. But, mm-hmm. like, if given the opportunity, would you go back and try to figure something out? Oh, definitely. Probably wait for, like, a little bit drier weather, too. Yeah, it was There kinda... wasn't a lot of moving around space in there. And to, like, be getting dressed and undressed in those rocks would just not be a lot of fun. No, no. <laughs> God, no. It was also a mixed bag weather day. Yeah. It was it was sunny. It was rainy. It was cloudy. There was a little bit of wind. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 
Oh, the, these ones too, the water. The color of the water was just some of the nicest blue we've seen so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then how it kind of cuts down through that canyon there, that gorge with the rocks and the texture on the rocks. And yeah, just amazing. That's why it's number two. Number two. And finally, oh. the biggest surprise out of all of our adventures oh. so far. I, I had no idea what I was in for, and even you did as much research research as possible, mm-hmm. and even you were slack jawed when we showed up because yes. this is this is more kill falls, and it is phenomenal. What do you think? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> it it was is incredible, yeah. It is you show up there down a forest service road and there's a little area where you're, you're it's it's okay to park because clearly people have been there before and sorted out a, a nice place to be. Yeah. You go down this small hike not not extensive at all Mm-mm. and to one side it looks like the earth is tearing itself itself apart yeah. because there's just giant slabs of rock that are just kind of falling over yeah we were just like surrounded by canyons and we're like nope not this way yeah and then the other side is this massive wall waterfall that has another waterfall falling into it another two two little ones yeah yeah the second one that we didn't even notice until we we're like hey look over there um, as we're leaving yeah yeah and these like this the stunning massive one that we were just right on top of mm-hmm. and we watched the river flow right into it mm-hmm. and rocks slippery as all hell and yeah. dangerous my, oh god. my god i think you and i were both having anxiety attacks that night yeah yeah i know why kill is in the name more kill falls <laughs> 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 but I mean, quiet, secluded, like yeah. no one even bothered. No one there. No one. At all. I, I'm, I'm amazed. These were some of the most beautiful we've seen this summer. And they are not easy to find online. Like I, like I said, I found them through a blog. And I'm just, I'm so surprised at that. They're some of the most beautiful, but probably some of the most dangerous we've seen too. So maybe that's why. This more kill was definitely the most dangerous. Yeah. Because the where we were was was just not polished, but definitely just slick rock. Mm-hmm. You know, I had my hiking boots on, and I was I wasn't getting changed for anything. Um, and you dared to get down nude and take a couple of shots, and I was just panicking because there you are with nothing. Like I'm nowhere near you, and I'm trying to take photos, and you're. Yeah three feet away from oblivion i'm sorry mom (laughs) (laughs) but my god it was stunning so clear water yeah oh and the color of it blues and grays and the rocks with it too adding that contrasting color and the especially at the bottom of the big fall there the shale you called it yeah shale yeah Yeah. that was beautiful the colors in that just amazing and how it's so flat and smooth looking it was incredible yeah you didn't like if you go to these you don't necessarily have to go to the flat area that we were there was mm-hmm. one lookout where you and i were both standing when we first got there and it's just you can see everything yeah like right over the falls it's just incredible yeah. and there was this one small patchy area right around here where i was just i was just stretching my mind like how can we get down there <laughs> because it's just oh. so stunning mm-hmm yeah, this was another hard one to photograph because you're just you're on top of it, and then you got the big long, little squiggly waterfalls flowing into the big one, and so it's just it's it's what this girl said in her blog too. It's hard to photograph, and when I got there, I was like, yeah, this this is difficult to get yeah. all of it in one shot, but I'm pretty proud with how my pictures turned out. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, you would need a like a professional panoramic, mm. almost like 3D 
photograph or something like that just to capture yeah. everything and even still like it there's no way t- to properly capture it you have to go see it for yourself yeah but not not that difficult to find no. if you know what you're looking for mm-hmm. because we traveled past ancient forest from prince george yeah and then down one road crescent spur loose l-o-o-s yeah and then we went down a forest service road for 34.5 kilometers yeah yeah <clears throat> and it was right there it was right there right before a bridge yeah yeah and we actually passed uh hell roaring hell roaring falls on the way didn't even know it yeah it was and at 18 point or 18 kilometers 18.5 18, yeah huh. yeah so this was your favorite why just the it's a monstrosity <laughs> <laughs> like it was it was such a surprise online again like the, the pictures did not do it justice and when you get there and see it in person it's like how do people not know about this mm. it is huge it is beautiful the rocks the color of the water the fact that it's like three different waterfalls all flowing into one mm-hmm. it's also like 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 I, like I said, or as I suggested, like it's near impossible to get down to the basin. Yeah. It we would have had to have thrown caution to the wind and slid down where the earth is coming apart, <laughs> <laughs> just to get down there. Yeah, right. It would be interesting to figure out if possible. Like maybe we go further back on the forest service road and hike down and then make Maybe, our way yeah. yeah we're gonna need some more gear <laughs> <laughs> i think we're gonna have to learn how to rock climb that too yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are the seven that we have visited this year which ones do you want to go back to and why definitely more kill yes just because it's just freaking beautiful like there are there aren't even any words you just you see it you stand there and you stare at it and you just you don't want to leave right um greer would be cool to see in sunlight just because that looked like such a little magical little hole there Mm -hmm. um i'd go back to muskeg again it looks like there would be more to explore around there like you could walk downstream it looks like pretty easily Mm -hmm. um i don't know they're they're just they're all so beautiful (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we've well, got to find more yet <laughs> well yeah those, I mean, those are three that i would definitely like to revisit yeah right i think yeah. when it comes to wine glass falls like we that's a prime example of kate we did it yeah yeah pretty much yeah, yeah. i mean it's it's amazing it's really cool but yeah yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. go <laughs> see it for yourself but yeah when you really think about it like as 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 much of a nature marvel that it is mm-hmm. it's pretty simple yeah yeah, it was. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. But yeah, like, not to detract anything from any of them at all. Right. They're, they're all equally amazing, really. What's still on the list? Cheslada. Cheslada, which is Chislata. further than Greer Falls. Yeah. 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 After Grand Rift there, yeah. And it was suggested by someone that that is a day trip. Yeah, my hairdresser said they went out there and it was like a six or seven hour thing because you don't want to just go there and... Cool! And then leave. Yeah, yeah like there's, you know, there's areas to explore there, so, right. yeah. What else? Um, there's another little place called... Uh, there's one's called Catil Falls in Fort Fraser, I think it was. Okay. It's like a two hour trip from here. It sounded like, It sounds like it might be another place kind of like Greer kind of thing or maybe like a little provincial park what was the other one we said was like a provincial park uh wine, uh, wine glass it felt yeah yeah I guess I guess so yeah it felt like a provincial park yeah so there's there's that and then you know not even around PG like there's we got to go beyond that yet like Tumblr Ridge right and, and Whistler and Grand Prairie. Yeah. 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 All those places. Yeah. 
Lots to explore yet. Lots to explore. Well, expanding outward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Be careful <laughs> at all of them. Be careful. Especially those last two if you go to go find those. You already said that it was adrenaline rush and a challenge to get undressed in these moderately public areas. But is there any other reason as to why you were doing this? Because I wasn't going to be competing this year, it felt like kind of a loss and a disappointment. And I needed something else to kind of get that excitement going and doing those photos at the falls and getting creative with it. It was just, it was a challenge. It was excitement. It was adrenaline, ru adrenaline rush. And it was just a good time. And I f would leave there feeling like liberated and this sense of freedom and wonder and accomplishment. Yeah. Accomplishment, yeah. like great accomplishment, just like, stepping on stage and stepping off stage again and just being like hey i did it <laughs> i did this amazing thing and now we've done that like seven including teapot we've done that eight times this summer now mm -hmm. and it's just I, I feel like i'm almost getting more out of it than with competing not to take away from that at all but it's just new adventures right being in bodybuilding and being a competitor, it's all about showcase. You are showing off your work, your physique, and it's literally about bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. And so for you, possibly, this is all about showcasing not only your work on yourself, but also your pride and your self-confidence and also your own discovery of the areas that we have explored over the past couple of months that's yeah that's a very good way to put it yeah it's exactly that it's another question is why share the photos that you do of our adventures on social media what do you hope to get out of that i really liked how allison was doing it just like you know she doesn't care what anybody thinks she's proud of who she is she's gonna you know show that off and i felt inspired by what she was doing and i love nature i mean i grew up on a farm i grew up in the country most of my life what type of reaction do you hope to get out of sharing those photos on social media um it okay it made me feel like i didn't need to be afraid I didn't need to be hiding anything um, it's about body positivity or a newer term that's I think coming out is body neutrality just showing that we're okay in our own skin no matter how we look like yeah I'm, I'm proud of how I look with what bodybuilding has done for me but or what you've done with bodybuilding. Yeah, what I've done with bodybuilding. But it's like more than that, too. Hmm. It's a mindset thing as well. Would it be presumptuous to think that maybe sometime in the near future there would be a photo shoot with you and Allison? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Go hang out and hike and get naked at waterfalls <laughs> with Allison, I'd be like fangirling the whole time and just, I'd be so down for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can both feel free and liberated and little fairies in the woods. Fairies in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs>